Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we have a special guest to talk to you about stress. What stress is, how it affects your body, and what you can do to reduce the negative effects of stress. Because being a student can be pretty stressful. Take it away, Maya. Hi everyone, you don't know me, but I'm Maya from Methodically Maya, where I make videos about applying psychology to everyday life and exploring the scientific side of self-improvement and mental health. Today, as was mentioned, I will be talking about stress. Stress is a normal and even adaptive defense mechanism that could have once saved your life. Stress is required for our fight or flight reaction, which could help you make quick and life-saving decisions in life-threatening situations. Our fight or flight reaction triggers the release of epinephrine, or what is most commonly known as adrenaline. Adrenaline acts to speed up our heart and breathing rates as a way to prepare our bodies to do what the name suggests, fight or flee a dangerous situation. Epinephrine makes our heart beat faster and pump out more blood with each and every beat. Our muscles then tense up as a way to protect themselves against injury. And once the perceived threat has been dismantled, our hypothalamus is supposed to stop our brain from sending out these stress signals, which should in turn lower epinephrine and return our bodies to our normal and relaxed state. However, sometimes our stress response is not turned off, which can cause elevated or prolonged stress neurotransmitter release, which is what psychologists and doctors call chronic stress. Chronic stress has a multitude of negative side effects, some of which include irritability, anxiety, depression, headaches, or even insomnia. Chronic stress can also take a toll on our organ systems, specifically the cardiovascular system, the muscular system, and the immune system. Epinephrine causes our blood vessels to constrict in order to divert blood to our muscles in preparation for action. However, the long-term side effects of prolonged blood vessel constriction is actually high blood pressure and elevated risk of heart or stroke. Because epinephrine is preparing our muscles for a fight or for a flee, chronic stress can leave our muscles tense. This can be presented as back or shoulder pain, body aches, or even as headaches. Our immune system is also affected by chronic stress. Interestingly, our body's immune system is stimulated when we are in a stressful situation. This sounds great, doesn't it? The problem here is that prolonged stimulation of the immune system can actually weaken it and make us more susceptible to viral illnesses like the flu or even viruses like COVID-19. So chronic stress is a big deal and it can have detrimental effects. So now let's talk about what you can do about it. There are some pretty basic things that you should be doing. This includes eating a well-balanced diet, getting enough sleep, as well as being physically active. These basic but powerful tools can help regulate your mood and decrease your stress levels. Additionally, there has been a multitude of research that has concluded that mindfulness is actually one of the key tools in reducing our stress. Our brains physically change with consistent meditation, and this is seen through increased gray matter in brain regions related to learning, memory, and emotional regulation. And if meditation isn't your thing, journaling consistently has also been seen to have similar brain effects. If you are looking for additional mental health tips or just like applying psychology to everyday life, make sure that you check out my channel, which will be linked below. I post videos every single Monday and have a lot of new content coming your way. Thanks for having me on Two Minute Classroom. And I hope to see some of you over at Methodically Maya on Monday. Virgil here. I also want to encourage you to check out Maya's channel. She has high quality content that you'll love. Let's make her week and get her to 1,000 subs. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.